felt good. I mean, it felt, I felt good. I was a little bit rusty. After more than 150 days off, Tiger Woods is back playing in a golf Why tournament in big board sports. Now that the Spurs are down two big men, second leading scorer Lamarcus Aldridge following surgery on his right shoulder and Trey Lyles out for the rest of the season following an appendectomy, Spurs head coach Greg Popovich is forced to make changes with who is left for the silver and black. So workouts before their first scrimmage next week inside the bubble in Orlando are crucial. Rudy Gay telling us he's willing to play center if needed. It's basketball at the end of the day. You know, you, you want to be on the floor and you want to help your team. Um, ideally, I don't think I'm a natural five man. I don't think any of you will agree that I'm a five man, but you know, if it helps the team win, you got to do it. Whatever coach does, if he puts me out there at the four, small ball four, uh, I'm willing to do whatever it takes for my team to, to come out there and be victorious. So I think that um, just whatever they need me to do, I'll go out there and do it to the best of my ability. With both LA and Lyles out vying for a championship, and for that matter, even making the playoffs appears to be a long shot for the silver and black. Pop facing the reality of the Spurs situation. Each team has a has a goal here, and uh, some teams, you know, are coming their step away from winning an NBA championship. Uh, other teams just want to be in the playoffs. Some teams are more concerned with development. Uh, if we play well enough to get into the playoffs, that'll be great. Uh, but my goal is development right now. Tiger Woods making his return to golf at the Memorial Thursday, his first tournament in five months. First hole, par four, 473 yards. Tiger hits a wedge from 146 yards, and that rolls to nine feet from the hole. He'd sink the birdie putt and would actually bird two of his first three holes. Woods ended up with a one under, 71, five shots behind the leader. Tiger playing a pro event for the first time without fans, but he still heard the noise. There were still a lot of moving carts and a lot of <laughs> um, media that were, that were moving around, but uh, the energy wasn't the same without the fans. Uh, that certainly was noticeable, noticeably different. Um, <clears throat> but there were certainly still a lot of moving parts um, with uh, camera crews. Earlier today, Tiger shot a second round four over 76, taking him to plus three overall. The projected cut is plus two. Yes, they did, DeMar. A 360 slam dunk from DeMar DeRozan during Spurs practice in Orlando. On the break, DeJounte Murray passes DeMar, who spins and throws it down. DeMar looking ready to go, guys. Whoa. So there it is. That, that was, was it. 360 slam. That, we like, that was worth the wait. Worth the wait, yeah. I like that. <laughs> that was That's nice. pretty sweet. Always worth the wait, as they like, animals, treats, and work out to beat the heat. Mike and Fiona are getting ready for a brand new essay live. Hey guys. Oh yes indeed. How are you? Hey, a play date with alpacas. When was the last time you said that? And which emoji are you? It's going to be a fun Friday today on SA Live. These alpacas are used to being the life of the party. How you can bring them to your home for a personal play date. Kind of reminds me of college. And you're <laughs> going to get some ice cream. Why not make it boozy? Yep, a local craft creamery is whipping up some of their popular creations and a little extra. <laughs> To it. And if you love ice cream, but it doesn't love you back, we're here to help. How you can make some easy ingredient swaps and for healthier and tummy friendly DIY ice cream. And you've been switching up your workouts by doing them outside. We've got some local trainers with tips to help you work out safely under this hot South Texas sun. Plus, they're making looking good easier than ever. Two local sisters have just released a brand new makeup kit for the girl on the go. And it is World Emoji Day. Do you speak emoji? Oh, not I well. don't know what that is. <laughs> Try to figure out phrases and movie titles with us a little bit later on. <laughs> and we want to know which emoji describes you. Or maybe it's a few emojis. Share your comments and emojis on social media and you might see them on TV. A brand new essay Live is just a couple of minutes away. And still kind of sad. There will be no party with a purpose this year since Fiesta has been canceled. However, you can still enjoy some of the taste of Fiesta by grabbing a chicken on a stick. Right now on KZ.com, nine places are offering that popular food. You can find this story by searching for the tags Fiesta or food. That looks good. <laughs> It'll cook too in this heat.
looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 98 today. We're already up to 92, so we'll keep you out of the triple digits this weekend. There's some showers moving in from the Houston area right now. We'll keep an eye on those, but just slim chances of rain the next couple of days and even into the middle of next week. But it's nice to catch a break from the triple digit heat for now, guys. All right, that's all our show for now. So we're going to find out what emoji you are. So what emoji are you? I'm the eye roll emoji. The eye roll emoji. <laughs> I'll be so honest. <laughs> I am. SA Live starts. We like, we like honesty. That's what, we, that's what we like. All right, guys. What, I think Mike is the uh, alpaca gone to college emoji. <laughs> the party emoji. So, all right, have fun. Good weekend. See y'all. Not far off. All right, it's the best play date you and your kids could ever have. How you can hang out with a couple of friendly, partying alpacas. Plus, look great and keep it simple. The sisters of Chica Beauty have a brand new beauty set for ladies on the go. And it's half speakeasy, half ice cream Ooh, parlor. Yes. We're heading into the weekend with a one-of-a-kind happy hour. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Hello and happy <laughs> <laughs> Friday. It is World Emoji Day. It celebrates when these cute little symbols took over our language and our way of communication. Good afternoon, everyone. I am, I guess... Mike Silver Fox Osterhage. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, you've never heard that before, David? <laughs> well, but I've never seen it on an emotion. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. It's out there now. She is Fiona Gorostiza. Yes, it is World Emoji Day, so, you know, we kind of picked out emojis that described us, except we picked them out for each other. <laughs> I would have just given a pretty little smiley face for mm -hmm. Fiona, so, mm -hmm. yes. You indeed. know, yeah. so, yeah. You are Mike Silver Fox Osterhage, and, you know, Shrek. I mean, nobody knew my name really until Shrek, and then everybody was familiar. Seriously? I, I, well, yeah, because they'd oh. say, first mm -hmm. name, you know, if they're taking it yeah. down, I go, Fiona. Now I just say Fiona, like in Shrek, and they go, oh, oh yeah. All right, all right, all right. Oh, what a great name. <laughs> I like your, I like how it's your face in there, too. Right? There you go, Ted. Yeah. So we want to know which emoji are you or which few describe you? Do you have one that maybe would describe you? Like the Hallmark <laughs> Channel symbol or... <laughs> Katie Blake and I were just talking about that. Um, well, it depends on who would be, you know, to my wife, I'm sure it'd be one thing, and to, <laughs> in my mind, it's something Don't else. Don't let so. Bonnie pick your emoji. No. Okay, so we want you to share your emojis on social media and tell us why that represents you. Tag us at SA Live KSET, and we'll try to air some a little bit later on in this show. Well, you may remember our cuddly animal friends who love to party, and they do have an alpaca emoji, <laughs> by the way, and Willie. Waylon and Houston have visited our Market Square set in the past. Yes, Texas party animals are known for their alpaca visits at special occasions. And now you can reserve a personal play date to make any celebration just a bit more wild. Jen Tobias Strusky has the story. It was actually brought on as a suggestion from a prior customer who said, why, don't, why aren't you out doing play dates? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should be out doing play dates. We try to bring the farm to you. We bring excitement of trained alpacas and your children or adults can walk the alpacas. They can brush them. They feed them alpaca -ritas. Uh, just as their pellet feed uh, in a margarita glass. It's a little fun. And uh, they get to spend one-on-one -on -one quality time, lots of photos, pictures, and many, many hugs. Loretta Hayeski is very passionate about her alpacas. They, they're herd animals, so they need to have their partners, their buddies with them. She and her husband own Texas Party Animals, where they bring the alpacas to you. Oh my goodness, we have had people full on tears of excitement because the, the interaction was just, it's a, it's a magical moment for people that have never been around them. With quarantine life taking over, she's now doing Zooms with her alpacas, some of them photobombing corporate meetings. It's a lot of fun when you're sitting on your corporate Zoom meeting, which we're all doing right now. Everybody's, you know, virtual everything. 
So imagine sitting there going over your cost analysis report and all of a sudden there's an alpaca looking back at you. <laughs> it's quite comical and a lot of fun. She's also doing play dates. One on one play dates for birthday parties is so popular right now. Um, your children aren't able to have all their friends over like they would on a normal party. So instead of that type of party, it's a little more intimate, a little more fun, one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, it's a great learning experience for children who've never been around animals. They are sweet. <laughs> we're being extra safe. Um, we're only actually doing one event per day. So we're not going like from one house to the next house to the next house. We do one event per day. Um, that also limits our exposure to other people as well. So we feel safety is number one and fun is number two. <laughs> While weddings have always been the perfect spot for her alpacas to make their photo appearances, right now it's about 20 people or less. Loretta tells me many brides have changed the wedding date just to make sure they get their alpacas in. There's a lot of fun things with engagements happening. We've, uh, we haven't done an engagement yet, but we've been contacted numerous times about surprise engagements. So look us up if you're interested in a little extra fun there. It's definitely something that makes you forget about the struggles and challenges we're all enduring right now. Like this sweet lady, Jo. For her 89th birthday, her family surprised her with her favorite animal, an alpaca. And to her, this was a once in a lifetime experience. Absolutely, they uh, each one of them has a unique personality. Lefty here, uh, who's on the left, um, he is extremely sweet. He's only nine and a half months old, um, and he's so, so sweet. Uh, Waylon, I call him my rock star. <laughs> Waylon is, uh, he's a very unique animal. He's very sweet and gentle with children. Oh, we have eight total. So uh, we have Willie, Waylon, Houston, Austin, Tex, Poncho, Lefty, and Lone Star. I have to say it is probably the, the most fun, the most hard work I've ever done. It's a lot of hard work grooming and caring for animals, but it's the most fun and most rewarding job I've ever had. One thing's for sure, they are packing the love and you can't help but smile. It is smiles across the miles is what we're doing. Now that's the kind of party I want to go to. The best way to get a hold of me is through my website, texaspartyanimals.com or they can check me out on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, Texas Party Animals, or you can email us at texaspartyanimals at gmail.com. For SA Live, it feels so fluffy. I'm Jen Tobias Chesky. And of course, those two just adorable children, <laughs> of course, Jen's yeah. children there. And I mean, what a better way to you know, play date. The kids are just calm and everything like that. And Texas Party Animals, by the way, are being featured in Women's World Magazine for a second time. So be on the lookout for that issue. And yeah, they know how to party. And yes. like you said, they fit in perfectly at weddings, right? Yes, because they're white. It works. <laughs> okay. It's the happiest happy hour in town. Boozy Creamery serves their cocktails in cones, sort of. Their alcohol infused ice cream is the best of both worlds. Kind of liking this idea here. A sweet treat while a little something extra to Easy end of the weekend. Owner Danny Nichol whipped us some of the coolest creations and told us how this all started. The original idea was to do daiquiris. You can't do real daiquiris in San Antonio and sell them to go. We decided to kind of go in a different direction. We were gonna do daiquiri floats with ice cream. Um, and then it just kind of evolved from there. We, my parents started making ice cream the December before we opened. And people were just like, you don't need daiquiris. Like, just do the ice cream. We started making ice cream for friends. And they were just like, nope, just, just go boozy ice cream. So we went with it and sold our daiquiri machines before we even opened. So my parents and myself own it. Um, we were originally the house, so a lot of people felt like, hey, are you guys that same place? Yes, same place. We were the house, Boozy Ice Cream and Brews. We just kind of started getting the phone calls. Hey, is this the Boozy place? Hey, is this? Yes, this is a Boozy place. And we changed it from there. We do traditional scoops in cups and cones. We do non-Boozy Ice Cream, so family-friendly options. You know, I have two toddlers. You gotta keep the kids happy. So when we say Boozy Ice Cream, it's not like beer and wine ice cream. It is alcohol-infused ice cream. People do over-the-top milkshakes. Um, we are really known for our floats. 
We kind of pride ourselves in having eight different float options with between beer and wine or rosé or like spiked seltzers. Um, and we can kind of pair those flavors for you. All right, let's go get ice cream wasted. First flavor, we're calling it Dirt Road. So it's a play on Rocky Road ice cream, but those uh, Oreo dirt cakes. We'll go with some additional pecans. We'll hit it with some whip. Oreo crumbles. Then we'll add that little dirt cake worm. Now, if you really want to step it up a notch, so it has two different bourbons in it and it has chocolate uh, liqueur in there, you can add additional shots. What we'll do with our floats, we'll do house-made preserves, and we'll kind of drizzle it inside the jar. So it'll give you just that extra fruit flavor. We'll think margarita base, has tequila in there, and then it's gonna have a raspberry swirl. And a lot of our fruit flavors are gonna be more of like a sherbet texture. So if you're not really down with the dairy, um, these still have dairy in them, but they're gonna be a different texture for you. And we'll pop that rosé, and we'll add the rosé over the top. So then it gives you a nice little wine float. We're gonna do a PB&J cone for you guys, and we've been calling it Not Your Mama's PB&J. And then it has blackberry preserves, and then it also has the sun butter, and then we have an amarula liqueur, which is like a creamy caramel. It gives you that like bread kind of flavor, and then a blackberry whiskey also in there. Mm. We'll serve it up for you, and we'll add just an additional little drizzle. So we have our regulars that have been every weekend just coming and grabbing to go orders. And surprisingly, we've had so many new people. I think that San Antonio is really feeling the need to support that mom and pop shop. This whole strip is all actually locally owned. You see people bopping by every, every store and that's really nice. You know, we've been able to do tip sharing with our girls even though they're not here working um, because the support has been there. So yeah, I think, I think everybody's ready and it's summertime. They're ready to cool off with ice cream and if you're gonna do ice cream, why not It'd be boozy, right? Okay, this will make you forget the heat. Wow, uh -huh. oh, there's a whole new meaning going out for ice cream here. I've got the um, Not Your Mama's PB&J. That's really tasty. This is the Mexican hot chocolate mudslide, and it's amazing. <laughs> did you finish that? It's pretty much gone. You did. <laughs> we Crushed still it, it. in still... less than three minutes. <laughs> we still have the rest of the show to do. And this was the uh, it's get interesting. Blue, blue Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. With, it's got tequila, right? I think so. Like <laughs> One tequila, two tequila, mm. three tequila. Right now, Boozy Creamery is open on Fridays and yeah. Saturdays from 5 to 10 for pickup and dine-in, and Sundays from noon to 5 for pickup only. And they do have non-alcoholic flavors, of course, for the little ones. Just make sure you don't give the little ones a lick at your ice cream. So, <laughs> hey, for more information on Boozy Creamery, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on the show, speaking of ice cream, it's a delicious treat that some of us just can't enjoy. How you can turn this summertime treat into a dairy-free ice cream. But first, it's a language everyone can understand, or can they? See, if you can figure out these emoji phrases faster than us, family game time is coming up Oh, next they're totally going to win. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, welcome back to SA Live. Well, as we said, it's World Emoji Day. It's language turned into symbols. So we are going to have some fun, and you can play along and possibly laugh at us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a regular occasion anyway. But we're going to put up some combinations of emojis, and we're going to try and guess the phrase. Oh, man, I'm going first. <laughs> okay. Fiona, you go first. <laughs> um, a barbershop quartet? Very good. Ah! 
yes. Um, oh, is this you? The, yep, this is you. Uh, running to the... What? Toilet. Bathroom emergency? Oh. oh. You're, you're, you were yeah. on the You're okay. Um, I know. Oh, wait. No? Day to night look? <laughs> Seriously? Well, day to yeah, night. Yeah, okay, sick. Okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> don't cut corners. Oh, yay! Okay. We're better than we thought. Oh. Uh, um, I know. Uh, what? Roller coaster of emotions. Oh, emotional, emotional roller, coaster. roller coaster. Okay. Wow. I'm, I, like I said, better. Wow. Than I feel like I'm getting more hip okay. as uh, this segment goes on. Flower, is that wind? And Something as. Um, I know people at home are yelling this out. Like, come on, you guys. Fresh, oh. Fresh blowout? Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. I, this is this. I believe sheep. sheep. And I, I, a leaf? Oh, I believe you. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. It's like from Happy Days. I love sheep. I, oh, love, I love you. I love sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. Okay. Um, uh, hel helicopter. Husky. Helicopter dog. Dog? Helicop I was going to say helicopter parent, but. Flying dog? <laughs> what? Is that really an emoji? Because that just pretty sum, sums up like what we okay. what we're feeling during uh, the segment. Um, uh, don't flush the news. Don't really. <laughs> that was a stretch. <laughs> okay, and then uh, what? Oh, okay, man, these are getting hard. Ooh. Um, Don't run with sharp objects. Um, um, oh, these, well, are these are movies. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, these are movies. Uh, Blade Runner. I got that before it came up, yes. Wow, okay. Um, uh, uh, Blood Diamond. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Fight Club. Oh, very nice. Okay. Um, uh, Finding Nemo. Wow, you are on fire! You just, you just, you just keep going. Um, Ooh, go, Mike. Diamonds are for uh, no. Not diamonds. No. Um, Dip. A Netflix show. Um, oh. Oh. oh okay. okay. And. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, Psycho. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, run, but, uh, oh, I would yeah, never have gotten that one. That's oh, no, a yeah. Stretch. Six, five, and <laughs> uh, six two. degrees of separation. Oh, the six. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I get it. All right. All right, and then um, train spotter. Spotting. Green spotting. spotting. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't that the emoji movie or the emoji the emoji? <laughs> oh, the emoji movie. Oh, what? They miss a rob. Why? What? Oh, really? All uh, that? <laughs> is that? Well, yeah. Look at look at the flag. You know and. Okay. Yeah. Teases. Anyway, that was kind of fun. Maybe we, you I guys at did... home did better than we did. <laughs> That so was slightly say live. embarrassing. <laughs> if dairy has you staying away from the ice cream you love, listen up. How you can make some easy switch and go back to enjoying the dessert you love. And next, a local school doesn't want your child to miss out on summer camp. What they're offering and how your child can take advantage. That's straight ahead. School of Innovation is teaming up with the U.S. Army to host its fourth Camp Inventions Connect outreach program. But just like everything else this year, it's going to look a little different. Ms. Angel Jimenez, ESL and gifted, talented coordinator with the school, joins me now to tell us more. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Hey, doing well, doing well. Tell us about Harmony School of Innovation. How is it different from other schools? Well, Harmony School of Innovation is a, a public charter school. 
We are one of 58 public charter schools in San Antonio, all part of the Harmony School System. Uh, we've been a leader in STEM since the year 2000. We are located on the northeast side of San Antonio on Glenmont Drive. And we've got two other uh, schools here in San Antonio. We've got Harmony School of Innovation, that's our campus. And then we have Harmony School of Excellence, that's a K through five. And we have Harmony Science Academy, and that's a six through 12 campus. So what is Camp Inventions Connect? When and how is it happening? Well, Camp Invention Connect is happening next week. It's a week-long camp. It's sponsored by um, the Army Outreach Educational Program. They are partnering with the National Inventors Hall of Fame. And this will be our fourth year we're having it. But of course, this year, because of um, social distancing, we'll be doing it from home. Now that's a lot of work, a lot of coordination, you know, to do this for these kids. Tell us about who is conducting it. So I'm the camp uh, lead, lead coach. I have four other coaches from the campus that are gonna be working with me. They're going to be doing the camp through Zoom. All of the campers will be getting some really cool boxes in the mail with all of the materials that they need to uh, complete the week-long summer camp. Um, the teachers will be getting on with Zoom the students several times a day, sometimes as a group and sometimes on one-on-one -on -one basis. So for parents of kids who are interested in this camp and camps like it, how can they find out more information and enroll their kids for next year? Okay, so um, one of the ways that you can reach us is you can um, go to our website, it's www.harmonytx.org. And you can also call our campus, which is 210-265. 1715 um, and I would encourage you to do so quickly. Our seats fill up pretty quick and hopefully we'll have some space available for you. So what's your favorite thing about Camp Inventions Connect? Well, I have to tell you my favorite thing is how much fun the kids have. Um, Camp Invention, they're such a wonderful program. When they send us materials, they send every single thing we could possibly need for the students to complete all of the activities. They include, include games. Um, they have, like, for example, here, I've got a, a little robot that they said they're going to send all the students in the mail this year. Now, spots fill up quickly, so you don't want to wait. Go online to HarmonyTX.org to look at San Antonio campuses or call Harmony School of Innovation at 210-265-1715 to register. Ms. Angel Jimenez, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. You're welcome and you take care. Still ahead on SA Live, have you been taking your workout outdoors? How you can feel and burn the calories, but not burn out under the summer sun. Plus, you love ice cream, but wish it was a little healthier or didn't have the dairy? We have some easy switch outs for DIY ice cream. It's next on SA Live. Say live Sunday is National Ice Cream Day. I think it should be every day. But hey, what better time to get a scoop of your favorite flavor? But you know, as much as a lot of mm -hmm. us love it, some people just can't do yeah. the dairy. And others wouldn't mind a healthier alternative so they can enjoy it maybe some more. Dr. Renee Wellenstein has five immune boosting, tummy friendly switch outs for ice cream. We are in the height of summer, just peak into season. And I know what you're thinking ice cream is so unhealthy. But I'm gonna give you ways today to upgrade your skin. National Ice Cream Day is right around the corner on July 19th. And it's a great opportunity to get the entire family in the kitchen to whip up some nice cream recipes that look like the real deal, taste amazing, and are without the added sugar and dairy. So today let's talk about nutritious and delicious swaps that are full of nutrients and antioxidants to help boost your immune system and your mood and are all kid approved. You can ask my teenage twins about that one. So let's jump into the nice cream swaps. But first, let's talk about what's typically in ice cream. And that includes dairy, eggs, sugar, cream, and America's favorite flavor, chocolate. 
All of the swaps that I'm gonna to recommend today are easily found in your local grocery store or may even be in your pantry or fridge. And they're all very flexible in that you can use it in these nice cream recipes in addition to other recipes outside of these or just as a healthy snack. So let's start with dairy. Instead of dairy, try coconut milk. It's a vegan friendly option. And I have a lot of clients that actually avoid dairy either for personal reasons or because of a sensitivity. So it's a great option for them. It's a healthy fat that keeps them nice and full and satisfied. And it contains MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, which help with brain function and promoting weight loss. Next up, eggs. Instead of eggs, try avocados. If you know me, you know I love avocados. Another great healthy fat that's actually going to add a really nice consistency to the nice cream and are high in fiber, which is amazing for your gut health and supporting your immune system. And did you know that avocados have more potassium than bananas? Next up, we have sugar. Instead of sugar, try dates. They are packed with fiber, protein, and iron. And guess what? You won't even miss the sugar if you use the dates. On to cream. My favorite option here is bananas. Bananas are chock full of nutrients, including the B vitamins, mainly B6, which helps boost your mood. And my favorite use of bananas is in this particular two ingredient ice cream recipe, which are bananas and almond butter with cacao nibs folded in, frozen. Thumbs up for my kids on that one. Give it a try. And then last up, we have chocolate. Again, America loves chocolate. If you switch out regular chocolate for cacao powder, you're going to actually get all that flavor to satisfy your sweet tooth. You're also going to get magnesium, fiber, and antioxidants to help boost your mood and your energy. So I encourage you to try all of these swaps, experiment with different recipes, and most of all, have fun. And for more health and wellness resources, come find me at drreneewallenstein.com. For more information on Dr. Renee, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, still ahead on Essay Live. Looking great has never been easier. Check out this brand new makeup pack for that girl on the go. And next, have you been switching up your workouts by doing them outside? We've got some local trainers with tips to help you work out safely under the hot South Texas sun. That's straight ahead. no doubt always brings the heat in South Texas. And a lot of folks might be taking their workouts outdoors to you know, kind of get out of the house, change the scene a little bit, of course, while social distancing. But working up a sweat in the intense heat can be dangerous. Joining us now to show us some simple cool down moves you can do post-workout to avoid the symptoms of heat exhaustion is Melissa Zentella and Lamont Trailer from Gym Guys San Antonio. Hey there, guys. Hi. Now you guys have a simple compact workout that can be done with no equipment right there at home to kind of help cool you down, right? So this is a full body uh, exercises that you can incorporate to any of your own workouts. Um, these full body exercises will work mul multiple muscle groups such as your core, shoulders, arms, glutes, all at the same time. So the first exercise we have for you are mountain climbers. So when you're doing a mountain climber, you wanna make sure you are in that high plank. Your uh, wrists are totally underneath your shoulders and you want to drive your knees up to your chest, alternating which knee comes up. All right, you are working, engaging that core at the same time, those glutes. All right, the next move we have for you are shoulder taps. So once again, in that nice high plank, you want to make sure that core is tight so you do not rock those hips. Then you are going to alternate touching your shoulder with your hands, keeping that core tight. Awesome. The next move we have are the inchworms. So you want to make sure your knees are slightly bent. You're going to walk your hands out into that high plank, just like so. Then you're going to actually walk your feet to meet your hands. Um, this is working on your core at the same time working that back. The next move and last move we have are swimmers. You are going to bring your 
right arm and left leg up and then alternate. You wanna make sure you engage that core and you are balancing on your abdomen area. So once someone is done with their workout, what should they do to kind of help cool their body down properly? Stretching is always a big um, important thing after any workout. Um, so simple stretches such as going down, touching your toes, or if you can't touch your toes in that case, you wanna go ahead and touch as close as you can, like your shins or so. You can also do the cobra, where you go down in a plank, drop those hips, and you raise your torso. That's a good way to, to cool down, as well as doing the downward dog. So from that position, he wants to bring those hips up, stretching out those calves back there, and his back. Um, and these are some simple pull down exercises you can do to help you after your workout. All right, tell us a little bit about gym guys. Are there classes going on or Zoom classes? How is training kind of working right now? We are a mobile gym. We show up in that lovely van that has over 365 pieces of equipment. A coach will show up to your house with a customized and creative workout that will help you meet your fitness goals. All right, where can folks go for more information? You can go to www.gymguys.com. All right, Melissa Zantella and Lamont Trailer from Gym Guys San Antonio. Thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Thank you. Coming up, San Antonio sisters doing big things, how their beauty company is giving back to high school girls in the Alamo City. It's next on SA Live. Beauty thinks every woman should feel beautiful and it shouldn't take a glam squad to do it. They're making it even easier to look good than ever before. Sisters Tony and Melan Jimenez are back with us because they are launching their second Simple Beauty set. Hey there, guys. Hi, Fiona. Hi, everyone. Oh, it seems like you guys have been busy since we saw you last November. Melan, tell us a little bit about this latest beauty bundle. We want to share with you that we launched our play set. So it's a, two products again, so it's great. It comes in another uh, biodegradable bag and you're just out the door. So it's the same, same thought process where we have our hustle set and now we have our play set and it comes with two products. Um, it comes with a tinted moisturizer um, and what's great about this, there's SPF, it's SPF 30 and it's also anti-aging. So <laughs> it's great um, for everyone and it comes in three shades. So we have the light, the medium, and then we have a deep. And with all of us wearing masks um, right now, what's great is not it's not a heavy foundation. So it doesn't get your masks all dirty. <laughs> so you can easily put it on, take it off. And um, it's great because it does cover and help with sunscreen and anti-aging properties. Um, and then with your mask, it doesn't get it dirty. The second product that you get is our eyeliner and it comes in four different shades, classic black. And then we have our chocolate. We also have charcoal and our best seller right now is actually our midnight plum. We didn't plan it at all, but Tony and I are actually wearing plum today. Uh, so we're just, it's just really nice. And what's great about the eyeliner, it's really smooth. So it doesn't really tug at the delicate eye area. And um, it's a great color. You can still wear it every day and there's limited quantities right now. So it's probably gonna sell out. So we wanted to let you know, we have our mask on and- Look at that. Just yeah, it just makes it pop, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and Tony, Chica Beauty has always been more than a beauty company and you ladies were able to do a lot of good with the sales of your last beauty set that we just saw you hold up Melon uh, hustle right um, for every purchase that was purchased last month we actually donated and gave a free um, nine to five mascara to nurses and first responders they were able to get a free um, again a free nine to five mascara just and and it was so great the feedback we got like they were so thankful and happy so you know, you're a part of this when you purchase any of our products, any of our products, including our shirts, any of our sets, any of our individual um, items, um, we give a dollar back to each of these giving partners. So again, we're more than just a makeup company. We're really proud about that. And again, we just want you to know that when you are purchasing from Chica Beauty at chicabeauty.com, um, you're a part of the bigger picture. And so we're just so thankful to be able to give back in the way that we're doing. Okay, and Melan, who are these beauty sets made for? 
Yeah, these are made for um, just like go-getters, just like you, just like us. I mean, we are just looking for those everyday essentials you put on and then you're out the door. You have like, just, you, it's all about never giving up, getting out there. You're all go-getters, we're go-getters. Like that's why we wanted to create these really, really simple products. Um, right now, again, it's these two products. It's on our website, it's 20 Mansion and ChicaBeauty.com. We just want women and girls to feel their authentic selves but like still have fun with it too. But we're about simplifying the beauty part. We don't want to overwhelm you. Where can folks go for more information, you guys? Chicabeauty.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you ladies so much for your time. Keep up the hard work and stay safe out there. You okay, too. Thank you. Hey, Monday on SA Live, we're throwing a moon party. Yep, we're celebrating the anniversary, the 51st anniversary of the moon landing with some fun activities for the whole family. Plus, softening dry hands and moisturizing dry scalps. We have easy at-home treatments for stubborn problems. It's all Monday at 1 on SA Live. You know, if you're Fiona, mm. that must make me Shrek. No, okay. no, I thought Silver Fox worked better. Yeah. See, and we even, look at the fox has blue eyes, just like you. I'm surprised my face isn't on there like yours is on TV. <laughs> I think what Ted emoji? ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> what emoji are you? Yes, hmm. all right. Perla, oh, has she has several. Okay, and that looks like a heart. heart. Oh, something, something. Oh, you've been signed out because you're currently on another, another device. device. Uh, I don't think that's what she was going for. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, let's see. Well, there we go. Okay, so La La Lisa says, this emoji describes me because I love to, I'm guessing, to see the beauty in everything. Oh, I like Very that. Very nice. Okay, Deborah says. It's been crazy. Well, yeah. And that is the? Uh, I can't tell oh. what that is. Ah, oh, the smiley face. Is it smiley or winky? I, I'll, we'll go with smiley. You need a magnifying glass for us. <laughs> <laughs> I know those might look really big on your screens at home. But we're looking at that big giant monitor That's over really there. It's really tiny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Monday, the anniversary, 51st anniversary of Apollo 11 landing on the moon. We're going to celebrate that.